Heading into the year, everybody comes up with a narrative about a team, but by the end of the season, they write their own story. When you look at the Super Bowl winners, all of them have a journey that got them to win the big game. Some are predicted to do so from the start of the season, but there have been some improbable teams throughout NFL history to make it to the Super Bowl, defy all odds, and win it all when nobody thought that they could even make the playoffs. The most shocking team to even make the Super Bowl and win it all when everyone doubted them is the 2007 New York Giants. In the previous year, 2006, the Giants were 6-2, but then lost 7 of their last 9 games to barely make the playoffs at 8-8, eight eight, where they then lost to the Eagles in the wildcard game. After the season, many NFL scouts and experts are starting to call Giants quarterback Eli Manning a bust and not worthy of the number one overall pick. To make things worse, head coach Tom Coughlin was under a lot of pressure and criticism from the media because of his coaching style. Everyone expected him to get fired, but the Giants gave him a one-year contract extension to prove himself. To add on to the pressure, their star running back Tiki Barber retired in his prime, defensive end Michael Strahan sat out for all of training camp and was debating about even playing the season, which he eventually did. Expectations were low for this Giants team, and it was Eli Manning's last year to prove himself worthy of being the franchise quarterback they expected when they drafted him, and Tom Coughlin's last chance to prove himself worthy of coaching a big market Giants team. The Giants started 2007 0-2, losing to the Packers and the Cowboys. However, from then on, something possessed this New York Giants team. The Giants would go on to win 10 of their last 14 games to secure the 5th seed in the NFC and a wild card berth. Their last game of the season was somewhat meaningful for the Giants though. They were going up against the New England Patriots in Week 17 at their home field. But if the Patriots beat the Giants, they would be the first team to go 16-0 in the regular season. Playoff-wise, this game didn't matter at all, as the Giants would be stuck with the 5th seed no matter what because Dallas already clinched the division. Giants head coach Tom Coughlin played their starters and even a few players through injury, which was controversial, but he did so anyway. The game was very close and ended 38-35 with the Patriots narrowly winning and becoming the first 16-0 team in the regular season. However, nobody expected this to be a preview of what was to come. The Giants' first challenge was going to Tampa Bay to play the Buccaneers, who went 9-7 and, and won the NFC South under head coach John Gruden. Tampa Bay took an early lead in the first quarter, but after that, the momentum went the Giants' way, where they led 17-7 in the early third quarter and went on to win the game 24-14. They won this game on a dominant defense, forcing two interceptions and quarterback Eli Manning throwing two touchdowns and not turning over the football. This was the Giants' first playoff game win since 2000, and that was great, but everyone thought this was as far as they'd get. This was going to be a tough matchup against a familiar rival. They were playing the number one seed in the NFC and division rival, Dallas Cowboys. Places said that the Cowboys had 6 out of 1 odds of winning the Super Bowl, and no first seeded team ever lost the divisional game at home. This was their biggest challenge up to this point, and when these two teams matched up in the regular season, the Cowboys had their number, winning both games. There was no way they would win this game. Or so he thought. Really saved their season. Manning fires and finds a wide open Amani Toomer, who stays on his feet, down the sideline. No penalty flag. Manning over the middle. Toomer, touchdown, New York. Quarter for the Giants, second and goal. Jacobs is the tailback. Jacobs gets it and scores. Touchdown, Giants. On fourth down. Clock running. Intercepted. Giants. The New York Giants overcame the odds against them and made history by being the first team to knock out the one seed out of the playoffs and hand them a playoff loss at home. This stunned the football world, and especially the Cowboys. It's really unfair. It's my team. It's my quarterback. And if you guys do that, man, it's unfair. The Giants had a lot of confidence by beating the number one seed and hoped to use it to win next week's game. For the Giants to have a shot to play in the Super Bowl and continue their magical season, they had to go to Green Bay and beat the two-seeded Green Bay Packers led by the legendary Brett Favre. The Packers were dominant when playing playoff games at Lambeau Field, only losing two games since the stadium opened in 1957. It didn't help that it was also negative three degrees and the third coldest game in NFL history. The Giants came into this game with confidence after winning and upsetting Dallas, but still, another game with most of the odds stacked up against the Giants, they had to prove their doubters wrong. The center, Alfred a good snap, 
Good hold by Fiegels, and the Giants get the first points of the night. Started it left, and it faded right back through. What would Bart Starr do here? He's at the game. Giants handed to Jacobs, and he pounds it in for the touchdown. Ten Manning looked right, now left. Airs it out down the sideline, hit Toomer, and the catch is made at the 12-yard line. Plays. Second down and two, Bradshaw cuts it up and is into the end zone for the touchdown. A blitz coming from the Giants. Favre looking for driver, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Webster. Corey Webster with the interception. Just attempt of the game. He has missed his last two. Can he send the Giants to the Super Bowl? The kick is good, and the Giants are going to the Super Bowl. The Giants managed to upset another team in their playoff run and won in overtime to send them to the Super Bowl. This was crazy, and almost nobody thought that the Giants would be in the Super Bowl. The excitement of being in the Super Bowl was fantastic, but the team that they would be playing in the Super Bowl was the best team in the NFL undoubtedly and were making history as being possibly the best team in NFL history. That team was the New England Patriots. If the Giants were ever doubted before, it was a whole different story in this game. The Patriots were the powerhouse of the AFC this season, having many first-team All-Pros and Pro Bowlers. Quarterback Tom Brady also broke the record for the most touchdown passes thrown in one season at 50, while Randy Moss broke the record for most touchdown receptions with 23. The Patriots had eight Pro Bowlers, and the most since 1985, and five first-team All-Pros. To add more insult to the Giants, the Patriots were favored by 12 points. The Patriots were truly the closest to a perfect team, and a win would cement their legacy forever as one of the best teams in NFL history. This was the definition of a David and Goliath story. Breathing hard, third and ten. Manning with time, completes to Smith, but short of a first down. We'll try from 32. Good snap. Good hold and a good kick. A long drive put together by Tom Coughlin's offense. Brady, time was running out, end zone and a flag. Benjamin Watson, the intended receiver. Well, they want to shorten the game. I mean, it's uh, that was pretty short. Maroney right side, touchdown New England. Another blitz. Brandon Jacobs picks it up. And Manning just airs it out for Toomer, who makes the catch. And yeah, we'll take a look and see if he had his feet in bounds. And he did. Manning throws. It's tipped into the air and intercepted by Ellis Hobbs. Ahmad Bradshaw forces him out. Push, he could step up and deliver the ball. 20 seconds left in the half, and the ball's knocked loose. Had a bunch of weapons and yet they still came after them and that was with a depleted secondary and now against the best offense in all of football you know they're finding ways to get pressure third down and seven good jump off the line by Strahan who gets the sack they won in this category during the regular season one for one in the postseason Brady goes to the end zone for Gaffney and the Giants take over. Pittsburgh and Minnesota, nine points. Manning over the middle, pass is caught. Kevin Boss tripped up at the 35 by Harrison. Maybe go for it on fourth down. Third and four, Manning slings it to Steve Smith. First down at the 12. Play action. Over the middle. Touchdown Giants. David Tyree. Part of the reason why Brady has time might be that this defensive line and pass rush is worn out. As Welker makes the catch and has a first down inside the 30. Brady throws. Moss. Touchdown. Here comes Eli Manning trying to answer Tom Brady. Third down and 10. 
Another low snap. Manning backpedaling completes to Toomer. And it depends on the spot. Brandon Jacobs. Looked like he got it with that last effort with his right arm. Second down and five. Manning hit as he let it go. And Asante Samuel came close to a game ending interception. Going to get some pressure. You got Rodney Harrison coming off the edge. He floats it up. But I don't know if he thought that Tyree was going to take it a little bit deeper or should have taken it deeper. But they're fortunate that Samuel didn't intercept that one. After a good battle, it was looking like the end for the Giants with third and five and only a minute and 15 left on the clock. If they didn't score, yet alone convert the first down, the game would probably be over and the Patriots would win the Super Bowl. And then, the greatest play of all time happened. Pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning stays on his feet, airs it out down the field. It is caught by Tyree. Inside the 25 and a timeout taken. Oh my God. This ball is thrown and Tyree just goes up for it like a basketball player. Harrison trying to knock it down. And Eli, man, I don't know how he got out of there. I thought he was on the ground and, and then he came out of the pile and just slings it. That's a great catch by David Tyree. And now with 59 seconds left, the Giants needing a touchdown. The ball is at the New England 24. Manning lobs it. Burris alone. Touchdown, New York. Brady. Steps up, throws, downfield, broken up. Two seconds left as the Giants take over. The Giants proved underdog throughout the whole playoffs, but especially now. They had won it all against one of the best teams the NFL has ever seen. Eli Manning won Super Bowl MVP and had proven himself as not being the number one overall draft pick bust. The Giants have been one of the NFL's laughing stocks up until this season where they finally made the playoffs again. But you have to remember that they had the most improbable Super Bowl win of all time, and they did us all a favor of beating the New England Patriots and ruining their perfect season. Call me straight from the plane. Last year, super crazy, swear it's never been the same. It's crazy how life changed. People in it, not the frame, but the love still remains. Cool breeze, nothing new. I like it when the sky matches the